After another vision, Detective Danny regains consciousness in the therapist's chair, who is using hypnosis to uncover the details of his daughter, Minnie's auction. All the grieving father can remember is how they were walking together in the park. The girl asked him to fix her braid, and then she started playing among the children. Danny briefly looked away, glanced at a strange guy, and when he turned back, the girl was gone. He searched everywhere, but the girl had vanished. The therapy session also failed to reveal what had happened. At this moment, he receives a message from work on his phone, and he bids farewell to the therapist. In the elevator, he examines a photo of his daughter on his phone, and remembers the news reports on TV, stating that the apprehended, suspected kidnapper of Minnie couldn't provide any information about the girl's whereabouts, denying his guilt. Outside Danny is met by his partner Nix, who tells him that the police received an anonymous call about an upcoming bank robbery. A female voice warned that safe deposit box no. 23 would be opened. Initially the police thought it was a prank, but two banks have been robbed in the last week. So they decided to set up a stakeout just in case. Danny joins the agents on duty in a surveillance van, and notices a man giving strange commands first to a young woman and then to two police officers at the bank entrance, who obediently follow his orders. Danny realizes that these are code phrases and rushes to the bank. He is greeted by a bank employee, and Danny informs him that he wants to open the safe deposit box. The employee leads him to the vault. Meanwhile, the woman, who had been communicating with the gray-haired man, decides it's too hot and starts undressing right on the street. Ignoring passing cars and causing an accident in the vault, the employee notices the absence of key and goes to retrieve them, thinking he left them in his office. In reality, Danny has taken them and proceeds to open safe deposit box No. 23. At the same time, the gray-haired man enters the bank and tells the bank worker that her working day is over. The girl agrees immediately and leaves inside safe deposit box 23. Danny finds a photo of his daughter with a note, in which someone named Del Rain asks him to find her. Suddenly the bank is stormed by robbers, who open fire in the vault. The bank employee, ignoring Danny's commands, calmly opens the safe deposit box and takes its contents. The incoming security guards shoot Danny and leave with it. They all get into a car and drive away from the bank however. Their van collides with the previously crashed vehicles and it overturns. The gray-haired man approaches, takes the contents of the safe deposit box, and places an explosive device in the girl's hand. Annie, who is not seriously injured, due to wearing a bulletproof vest, rushes out of the bank just as the explosion occurs. He pursues the mysterious man and catches up with him on the rooftop, where he sees the man ordering to police, officers to target the detective. The end demands the photo that Danny took from the safe deposit box, and when Danny refuses, he orders the police officers to shoot each other. After that he jumps off the roof and disappears. Realizing that the robbery is connected to his daughter's disappearance, Danny begins his investigation. An anonymous call, tracked by his partner Nix, leads Danny to the address of the psychic Diana. At that moment, Diana is conducting a hypnosis session with a biker who promises her protection and remains sitting at the entrance, while Danny questions her about Del Rain. Upon hearing this name, the woman asks the detective believe. But at that moment, the biker from outside suddenly attacks Diana, crashing through the window on his motorcycle and then voluntarily ends his own life. It turns out that the biker was hypnotized from the outside by the same man in a suit. Danny takes Diana into protective custody and brings her to the police station. The woman tells him that the mysterious man from the bank is named Del Rain, and the both of them are fugitive hypnotics, powerful hypnotizers, trained by the secret government department to control people's minds. Nix rudely tries to interfere in the conversation, and Diana using hypnosis orders the partner to act like a prisoner. Danny is amazed to see that Nix unconsciously starts following her commands. Diana reassures Danny. He is completely immune to her suggestions. Meanwhile Nix, sent by Diana to take a walk, 
encounters Delray near the police station, and Diana continues her story. CIA agents from the secret department were looking for people with unusual abilities, and to notice the girl who could predict the future with cards. That's how Diana ended up in a program where hypnotics were taught to solve any tasks without leaving a trace. Delorraine was the strongest, but he wanted to subdue the department. The girl managed to escape, but recently she read about a series of mysterious cases and realized who was behind them. At that moment, the lights in the room go out and the entering Nax takes aim at them. Danny injures him in the leg, but Nick stubbornly tries to kill the couple. Danny then handcuffs his partner to a grid and watches in horror as he almost tears his own hand off. Trying to reach him, Diana ends his suffering with a shot the head. She urges the detective to run because defeating Del Rain is impossible. The pair leaves on the way they stop at a cafe where Danny tells everything about his daughter's abduction. At that moment, the sheriff enters the cafe and upon seeing the fugitives, prepares to call for backup. Under the influence of Diana's hypnosis, he reports over the radio that the couple headed north. But when Diana and Danny step outside, they see Del Rain surrounded by police officers. Danny leads the pursuit away, but he is cornered. That's when Diana comes to the rescue, taking control of the sheriff and his car. Using hypnosis, she orders the police officer to leave and drives away with Danny. They head to Mexico, where another participant of the secret program, Jeremiah, resigns. On the way, Diana tells Danny that he, he is an unusual person because he refuses to see the images sent to him by Del Rain. His mind is like it's hidden in an impenetrable bunker. For the hypnotic, soon they reach Jeremiah's house, and he tells them that Del Rain is looking powerful for a weapon developed by the secret department named Domino. However, Del Rain stole it, and to cover his tracks, he erased his own mind, so that no one except him could use it. In such cases, strong hypnotic triggers that gradually make them remember the location of the hidden item and restore their memory. It turns out that the bank safe deposit box was one of these triggers. Jeremiah asks for the photo, but something makes Diana suspicious. It turns out that they have been talking to Del Reyna all this time who has replaced Jeremiah with himself. The couple rushes to escape outside. Danny shoots the pursuing biker, and after taking his motorcycle, the pair gets away. They speed through the old town, and Diana warns that everything they see is unreal. Eventually, they are trapped, and when Dal Rain is about to celebrate victory, something unimaginable happens. The police turn against Dal Rain, and it was Danny who Diana asks him to remember his past. It cannot be that he has never used his power. But the man cannot explain such a sudden surge of power. Then the woman takes him to her friend River, a lone hacker who can help uncover the truth. Starting to search for Danny in databases, he suddenly finds his wife Vivian in the secret department's database. The man can't believe it. They were together since college. But you can't argue with the department's data. Later he tells Diana that they broke up, unable to cope with the loss of their daughter. After the conversation, the woman goes into the shower and Danny phone rings. Del Rain orders him to kill the woman who betrayed him. Diana Danny manages to resist the hypnosis, but instead of a gun, scissors appear in his hands. Realizing what happened, the woman helps him break free from the hypnosis by getting close. At night the detective wakes up and goes to River's computer, where he finds information that Diana is his wife. Vivian and Minnie is the daughter of two powerful hypnotics. Diana and him. The girl is the secret project Domino. He tells Diana about it, and she confesses that he had the girl himself. And then Danny realizes that all the events up to this point were an altered reality. He comes to his senses in a large room filled with agents from the secret department, many of whom he saw throughout the projected story, including Nix and Del Rain. They explained to him that Danny and Vivian are both hypnotics, and their daughter Minnie was born and raised in the secret department, realizing that the girl is being prepared for a terrible weapon the father stole. 
his own daughter, and took her in an unknown direction. After hiding his daughter, he erased his memory, and now the department repeatedly brainwashes him, hoping that the memory will return. Danny rushes out of the pavilion and sees that the higher area is set up to make him believe the reality of what he sees. It turns out that his memory has been erased 12 times already, and each time he stops at one place, not allowing them to figure out where to go next, and now he refuses to speak again. So he is being prepared for Eraser memory. once more. Danny is placed back into the hypnotic reality where he repeats the session with his pissed and again observes the bank robbery, taking the image created for him as reality. But this time, he suddenly breaks free from hypnosis and, despite all the efforts of the agents escapes from the base, Diana orders helicopters to be deployed. When Nex finds an imprint of an address written on a piece of paper, the woman realizes that Del Rey is not a person's name, but the name of a ranch in Mexico, where Danny grew up with his foster parents. Meanwhile Danny arrives at the ranch where he is greeted by armed parents who have been hiding many all this time. The man enters the house where he sees many dominoes arranged in an intricate way. He pushes one piece and following the falling figures, he reaches a room where he is met by the grown-up Minnie who has learned to fully control her hypnotic abilities. At this moment, employees of the department surround the ranch, but aren't parents of Danny. Appear in front of them, welcoming Diana. Delorain orders them to kill both of them. Diana tries to help the elderly couple, but they die. And then Danny steps onto the porch. She reminds Diana that she didn't want this fate for her daughter. Delorain orders to hand over the girl and Minnie comes out of the house, her mother rushes to hug her aunt. The girl restores her mother's memories of her involvement in the escape and the subsequent erasure of her memory. Delorain realizes that everything around him is an illusion created by many hypnosis. The house disappears and the department's agents begin to kill each other. Many asks her mother to close her eyes so she can return her memories. It turns out that Danny's foster parents are also alive and finish off those who survived. Defeated Del Rey raises a gun, aiming it at Danny, and Diana remembers how a person in a red mask erases her memories. She tries to move, tied to a chair, and the red mask continues its work, and then Minnie turns her gaze on Del Rey and he shoots himself. Diana remembers how the department took their child seriously from birth, hoping to turn the girl into a powerful hypnotic weapon to make people unquestioningly obey all orders. The parents wanted freedom for their daughter, but they would never have been allowed, so they decided to gather all the department's employees together and destroy them, but many was too weak for this at the time then. They staged the kidnapping, after which the parents erased their own memory leaving a clue in the bank's safe deposit box and the person in the red mask was Danny who did everything to make their love impossible to erase. And now they are finally free. The family flies away in a helicopter. After the credits, there is a scene where it revealed is revealed that Del Rain survived the shootout, swapping identities with Danny's foster father. And that's how the movie ends.